Welcome to our lecture online and here's our next example of how to use Lahapadu's rule to find the limit. Let's see what happens when we plug in the limit as is. So this would be equal to the cosine of 0 minus 1 divided by, we plug in, that would be 0 as well. So this is equal to the cosine of 0 is 1 minus 1 divided by 0, which is 0 divided by 0. That would be a perfect case where we try to use Lahapadu's rule because in this case we end up with a 0 divided by 0 condition which is undefined. Let's do that. Say the limit as x approaches 0 of the cosine of x minus 1 divided by x is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. So what is the derivative of the cosine? It is the negative sign. So that would be the negative sine of x. The derivative of minus 1 is 0 divided by the derivative of x would be simply 1. Now when we have that, we can go ahead and plug in the limits and see what we get. So this is equal to minus the sine of 0 divided by 1. And of course the sine of 0 is 0. But in this case we get 0 divided by 1, which is a valid number. This is equal to 0, and that is a, an appropriate limit. The limit is 0, but we wouldn't have found it unless we used Lahapadu's rule to take the derivative of both the numerator and the denominator, and then take the limit of that fraction, and now we get the right answer. That's how that's done.